Hey, great day to you. Today I want to talk to you about why you keep failing and what you can do about this. And I'm going to share a few real life examples of things that I see commonly happening to people and why they fail with whatever they're starting. So if you're someone that experiences that and it's normal, you are not a part of the problem. I'm joking, you are all the problem then please watch the video and hopefully you will understand a few things and maybe based on the patterns that I see are common with other people, including myself, because I failed a lot of times in my life, but I also have gotten the privilege to win a lot in my life. And I gotta tell you that it's more fun winning generally, but you get to learn a lot from the failures as well. So let's go. And the first thing that I see people, the first reason I see people are failing is that they want to get something quickly, which is fine. Yes, I also like getting things quickly in different parts of my life. It's always nice to score something fast. However, with things that are connected to business, to online business and to all this industry that we're a part of or that the industry that you want to be a part of, for example, sell on Amazon, do YouTube or do whatever that is, you got to understand one thing. And I know it's not going to be maybe sounding as fun, but you gotta be there for years to make good money in it and to succeed in it. So if you wanna do affiliate marketing, if you do Amazon FBA, if you wanna do Amazon FBA, if you wanna do YouTube, if you wanna do this and that, your mindset should be doing this for at least a few years until you get something out of it. You might get things faster from it. And if I'm talking in like business creation, monetary things, you might actually create something new and profit really fast from it. Usually if it's not your first, venture, if it's your first business or first gig that you're trying, really expect to fail a lot, but aside of that, expect it to be bringing you money not so quickly. I got to tell you that many of the people that I talk to, they don't execute that. Like they want a lot and they just don't really do anything about it. They want to sell on Amazon. They want to do different things. They're excited about it but they are not doing anything about this, like literally anything. And it kind of comes to the thing that the thing that causes them not to do anything eventually is the reason maybe that it will take a lot of time. People think, ah, oh, well, doing this Amazon FBA sounds good. Like Volvo is doing that for a while now, but you know, it takes a while. He's not getting rich that quick as I thought he would or whatever. So then, you know, it's not the best thing. Or, you know, I want to do YouTube and I want to shoot some videos. And yeah, maybe I'll try shooting a few videos. I see this dude doing that. I see that girl doing that. Let me try and record a video. Oh, that's hard to record a video. It actually takes the graph. You should have to, uh, to render it as well. You have to add the closed captions to it and you gotta upload it alone. And you gotta do all this in order to get like 10 views on YouTube. In the beginning, yeah, that's how it is. And that's what you gotta go through. So that's kind of the, to sum up the thing number one, people, want to do stuff, but they are not in it for the long run. So at least back a few years for this, think of if you want to start something new and you want to make money out of it, then think of a few years at least. I don't know many people that just quickly get a lot of money from their projects, unless they're already experienced in that. And that's completely fine. If you can launch a new product quickly, you know, reach your goals, have some fun, that's pretty awesome. But for beginners, usually you got to stick to something that's only one thing for a few years. Like I've been selling Amazon for four years or so now. I've been doing the YouTube for two years and I've reached pretty cool results, but I'm still doing the same thing. Hey, you remember me talking to me while I was still working at Lifeguard in the Dead Sea here in Israel. And I told you that I'm developing my Amazon business. Well, I'm still developing my Amazon business. It's been four years now, but I quit my job like what, three years ago or something like that, which is pretty cool. So you know, keep going. <laughs> That's number one. Number two is kind of the shiny object syndrome. So I talked to some people and I got to tell you first that I talked to a lot of people throughout my life. I have this thing that people come to me for advice and I enjoy it. Eventually I understood it's one of my superpowers that I can kind of see the person and understand like easily what's going on with them. Like what are their problems? What are their wills? Whatever they want to do. So I kind of can kind of understand it fast. So that's pretty cool. I guess I just like it. I like talking to people, I like listening a lot. If you watch my interviews, you're just I'm most of the time trying to listen to learn. But what I'm, I want to tell you is that people say like, hey, you know, I've heard about this new gig, you know, can do 
specific kind of videos on YouTube, or maybe you know you have an affiliate marketing in that or this niche, or you know there's this cool Amazon FBA way to quickly get some money. I've heard of this dude about, talking about this, and I saw his videos and that. I'm like, yeah, that sounds awesome, man. So what's the results? Have you earned something? Like, yeah, well, I still haven't started, but oh, so nice. Like, you know, this dude is making shit a lot of money there, and. Like, all right, right, that, so when are you gonna start this? Are you, like, are you already doing that? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not exactly, like, get my point? Are you such a person? Well, then <laughs> it's not the best thing. You cannot chase shiny objects, and there are tons of them, you know? And technically, for somebody who's even maybe experienced, you can quickly cash in on these or get some sort of results if you know how to grab these. That's awesome, but... Again, as somebody who might be a beginner and somebody just starting with all this stuff, it wouldn't make much sense to switch from things, right? And going, kind of going back to the point number one where I was talking about kind of people that are, like they want results, but they are kind of not willing to put in the time. You gotta find what you really love if you wanna input a few years into that. That's the thing you gotta think about. like. If you're going for the next shiny object syndrome, you might burn out very fast. Even if you start doing something, let's just ignore the fact that 99% of people don't do anything with what they have started, unfortunately, and that's just what I see. It's not that I'm trying to kind of, well, I'm trying to give you some sort of a message, but that's just what I see. And I talk to a lot of people on the internet in real life. That's just what I see. 99% of people just give up on whatever they're starting. So yeah, you gotta be really willing to do that and you're willing to, <laughs> almost fell, kind of put in the work and to be passionate about for years. Like if I wouldn't be passionate about creating these videos for you, I would quit like 165 videos ago or how many videos we have on the channel here. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you. So that's like, uh, these are the one and number two points. The shiny object syndrome number two is, yeah, just something new comes along. You haven't even started number one, but you're already doing number two. You know, that's, that's what I see very common among people. They're just this, 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 this. Eventually, in the end of the month, they're nothing, they do nothing. And let's talk about point number three real quick here is kind of procrastination. And this is connected to everyone. But people simply do not start because of maybe fears or maybe the fear of success and fear of failure. Take it to any fear you think of. But really something that you're also and me and everyone is going through is kind of procrastinate over something. We're thinking a lot about this thing. Like, should I do that? Should I do? No. It, it, and then you don't do that. So what I understood kind of in life is that when you just go with the thing that you're looking at, quickly, then chances are that it's gonna work better. For example, you're going on the street and you see a girl that you really like, she's looking great and you know, you wanna talk to her or maybe you just feel like you would wanna hang out with her or she just looks cool and you just, and again, <laughs> I'm saying from, from experience, yes, yeah, so you just walk around, you walk by, you look at her and you never talk to her, right? And the best time would be talking to her when? When she's walking there, you know, maybe she's on her phone. You're like, wow, she's on her phone. I'm not gonna talk to her now. Well, then stop her. Then just say, hey, you know, whatever. Maybe she's, you know, maybe she will uh, just say, hey, one second and talk to you. Why not? <laughs> so the, the bottom line I say here is that procrastination, it just leaves you without the rewards you might've gotten. And again, I'm saying from this from experience, connected to business, to women, you know, you gotta approach, right? If you wanna meet a girl that you wanna talk to, right? You gotta talk to her, you gotta initiate that, right? She might talk to you, but believe me, chances are not that high that if you're looking to, you know, to, to get the girl that you are really into, that she will just come and talk to you. You gotta do the move as a guy. We're, we're kind of getting out of the, the progressive, <laughs> but no, it's actual procrastination. Same with Amazon FBA, say, right? Yeah, I'm watching the videos, but, I am, I haven't started yet because maybe, maybe it's not gonna work. Maybe, or maybe it's gonna be super, wow, I'm gonna be that successful. And what are my friends gonna say? Like, oh, he, he's got successful so fast. How come? He must be doing something, he's cheating or something. You know, whatever. Then you procrastinate, 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 and nothing happens really. So, what I can say about this? It's easy to say do not, but if you stick to the habit of stopping procrastinating in specific things of your life, then you will be much better at them. So for example, if you need to go to the gym, the only real way to overcome procrastination is just go. You can read a million books, you can watch a million videos of some people on YouTube talking to you, 
but really eventually you gotta go and do that right if that's a girl that you want to approach if you're thinking about her just go drop her a message or better even walk to her in reality you know it takes time to develop your game same for you know game in terms of talking to the other gender or game on amazon but the thing is you might die tomorrow my friend or today so what are you waiting for like seriously think of this this way maybe you think well this dude is exaggerating why am i people have died today they'll die tomorrow why do you think it's not going to be you why why do you think you're so special so take it live you have limited time we have to live so maybe do something with that right if you want more of these videos also drop a comment if you want me to kind of talk non amazon fba stuff only and I wish to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today.